down the lobby, then we're on the high-rise bank. There's our friend up there, Mr. Security. These are very nice elevators at a beautiful hotel. After we ride the elevators, I'll show you my room real quick. Is he right there, sir? Oh, yeah, I'm just taking pictures. I do elevator videos, you have a good night too. You're gonna see me in the other elevators. <laughs> it's nice that security actually watches stuff. And these are the high rise elevators over here. We're gonna take a ride on these. Same elevator we came down on. These are identical to the um, uh, low-rise elevators. Fifty-five. I watch it level. Awesome. Now we'll go back down to the lobby. elevators. Very fast elevators. Here's your buttons. Here are the lobby. And now we'll go up to 48, which is where my room is. Please exit when doors open. Wonder what that's about. Find out here in a second. This is interesting. Watch this. Uh, okay, the doors are not opening. Okay. Let's see here. Did I just get stuck in here? No, we're going down now. That was strange. Wonder what the elevator's doing. It says, please exit when doors open. And the doors are not opening. There, the doors are opening now. Excuse me, sir? Hey, how you doing? Could you turn on the video camera? Sure. What happened now was basically pretty rude. 
After I stopped the camera, the guard insisted that I follow him to the front desk, which I did. At that point, he asks for my room number, which I give him, and then my name. And then he accuses me. He says, you're trespassing. You're not a guest in this hotel. What name is the room under? I gave him the name of the people that booked it for me. However, I had originally paid for it. And again, he accuses me of trespassing. At this point, the front, de the front desk staff clerk booms at the security guard. He's a guest here. I just checked him in. And the security guard says, well, no, he's not. I can't find him in the computer. And then she basically yells at him, says, let him go back to his room. He's a guest in the hotel. Well, anyway, the security guard basically rudely tells me, okay, you can go back to your room, but you got to speak to my supervisor first. And he calls a supervisor. I speak to him on the phone. And basically what the gentleman says is I am not allowed to take pictures in the hotel. It's for terrorism reasons and all that stuff. And I'm like, whatever. I just listen to him so I can go back to my room. At this point, the security guard, before letting me go back to my room, did something which I think is illegal. He took a photo of my ID with his personal cell phone. Why does he need that information? Anyway, in my email to Hilton, I told them about this, and supposedly the photo has been deleted. Anyway, I leave um, a comment on their Facebook page about it, and the manager contacts me in the morning and sincerely apologizes to me and tells me, yes, I am allowed to take photos and videos. Anyway, the treatment was quite rude, and there's no excuse for this on a Hilton property. However, the manager did make it right. He told me that if I ever come back to his property again, that I am welcome to stay in the hotel. He will give me $50 off his cheapest rate. I doubt I'll go back because I have no real reason to, but just the fact that they attempted to make it right, um, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, they're okay now. I mean, this whole ordeal just kind of blew my mind because I had never been treated so poorly in a motel I was a guest in. And even after explaining why I was filming the elevators, I was still harassed. But, like I said, they apologized, they made it right, so as far as I'm concerned, it's water under the bridge. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little story, and thank you for watching.